Hi beauties and girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat and out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come in and chit chat with your girl. Today's video, we are talking about skincare freakouts. Yes, I had a skincare freakout and I thought what better way to show you all how I kind of remedy and keep my skin looking nice and great because skin is the most important thing. There's a couple of things that my mom said you take care of. You take care of your skin, your teeth, your hair, and your health. So with that being said, I just wanted to go in and let you all know a couple of tips on how I keep my skin looking nice and clean because it can freak out like it did this past day. And I'll share some tips with you guys. Let me know what items or what products you use during a skincare freakout or what do you do at all in terms of technique or what do you do when it happens and I will see you guys in a couple of seconds. Let's go to the freakout. I have some texture on my skin and the reason why it broke out is because I used a new product and I have no fear of testing skincare products. I actually do. Like I don't have sensitive skin. I have normal too dry skin but I tried the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. This came in my Sephora Play and I really wanted to try this anyway. It's the one that you paint on. I don't think that this broke me out because my skin, it gave me a new layer of skin. I am gonna try it a couple of more times after my skin goes back to normal and I don't try any more products until my skin goes back to normal. That's another thing. Don't try new products when your skin is freaking out. You wanna use your tried and true holy grail products when you are when your skin is going back to being normal i try to use products one at a time when i'm trying new skincare because if my skin freaks out i know exactly where it comes from well in this case i totally forgot that i was using this product and ended up using another product which was a foundation now the foundation i really don't blame because i I had two samples they did not have the sample they had the sample in two colors so the one in it was a chanel foundation that i wanted to try and review i've heard great things about it so i actually wanted to come on the channel and review it so the one that they gave me in the jar was from a tester that i got at the counter and it was the vita lumia and i tried that and it had the consistency of the kat von d locket foundation was pretty thick but when I went to go try the packet to see if that was a darker color I went to try it it was a different consistency but the same foundation so I was like hmm that's different so I tried that one on and I think this is kind of like it's a chemical it's a chemical peel but it's a peel off mask and I think because it was a new layer of skin plus that foundation that I believe that was expired because the consistencies were different and it looked weird but I really feel like going back to the counter and letting them know hey your tester is bad because the consistency was different it looked weird it even smelled different so I did not know that because the first one that I opened was the one from the jar and the other one was the packet and the packet was fine because it was closed and it was contained but because because of that I got some texture on my skin I can actually feel the rise and fall I my skin usually is the same even like feel and it's smooth well this has a little bit of texture so the first thing I do when my skin freaks out is the first day I put nothing on my face I immediately went because I could see a little bit of the rising and fall it was actually worse than this I went in with a warm towel and just wiped my face off trying to make sure I washed it a couple of times splashing water just to make sure that I got all of the product and everything on my off my face I try not to use wipes because wipes does irritate it because of the rubbing so try not to use a wipe in taking off the makeup maybe use a natural cleansing oil maybe you want to use argan or jojoba oil something natural to get it off then wash your face with a natural gentle cleanser like Cetaphil or CeraVe cleanser and then I go in during the day that at night 
that's what I use. During the day, I use the Dickinson's. This is the Pore Perfecting Toner, but it's 100% natural and it gently cleanses and conditions pores and it smooths and balanced skin. So because I wanna bring it back to its normal state, I use this on a cotton pad. Witch Hazel is a natural infl uh, inflammatory product and that means that if you have any redness or craziness going on in your skin, it will calm it down. So it will calm down the redness, which I had a lot of redness. So I'm just going in. I do not go in with a face wash in the morning, but I want to wipe this down. And then I'm going to go in with the CeraVe. This is a moisturizing cream for normal to dry skin. I use this with my son who has eczema. And because I have texture like eczema on my face, pretty much, I'm going to go in and just use this as a moisturizer. I, Because of my skin being kind of crazy right now, I don't want to go in with an SPF. Yeah, I know. But... I'd rather for my skin to go back to normal and start using an SPF just because sometimes X SPFs, certain SPFs will cause an issue. But because I know my Josie Marin, this is the Argon Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. I'm going to use a little bit of this. And it has a tint to it. So I really do like that. I'm not going to put on any foundation today. Not at all. This is like makeup for my crazy day that you're going to see. But I am going to put something under my eyes. Now my eyes didn't get any texture because I didn't use the product under my eyes. I highly recommend you have some natural products in your, in your, in your routine that if your skin freaks out, you have and you, you kind of know that it's not going to have harsh chemicals or anything or make the skin worse and this is a deep moisturizing so it's going to lock in moisture and it's kind of like a protectant as well so i try to keep some some natural items around this is a pacifica concealer this is cruelty free and vegan that means it's not going to have any harsh chemicals in it this is the darkest shade that they have but I am gonna go in with my Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is in medium. I'm gonna use a little bit of this. Um, I kinda wanna color correct just a little bit. And I'm using my fingers because I don't wanna go in with a brush at this point. You wanna make sure that your brushes are clean as well. That will reduce breakouts. So now I am going to set it with a little bit of powder just so it stays all day. Otherwise it will just like fade and go away. And that's it. I'm going to let my skin cool down and chill out. It should be good. I now I have an event tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow night. And yeah, I definitely want my skin to be perfect. So I'm not going to bother it too much or at all. Make sure that I'm not touching my face and that I clean and wash my hands. That's another tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the comments. Yes. Comment down below and let me know what you do when you have a skincare freak out. What products do you use? And we all want to share, share the secrets, you know, please subscribe if you hadn't already. And I will see you in the next video. See you in the comments, you guys.